Hi, Casper here from Bose Wine on the 22nd of November 2014 and I'm tasting the 2008 Coudelet de Beaucastel and this is yet another vintage that I really struggled to sell and the reason I struggled to sell it was because the world's wine press were busy telling everyone that this was a hopeless vintage uh, uh, and not worth buying and I think most of those journalists that made those comments have probably looked at the weather patterns for the growing season and decided that with those problem meteorological problems no good wine could possibly be made uh, and I'm very very happily steadily drinking through my supply of, of this wine again mostly Grenache but this is um, you know, it's got it's got super super freshness to it, and I really value that in the wines of the Southern Rhone. Acidity. I mean, I like the older I get, the more I like wines with acidity anyway. But just you know, it's got a hint of of what we call Brett about it. So a slight farmyardiness that the wine gets from a from a, a strange yeast that um, uh, many wine producers would try and exclude. But it's it's almost with a day and a half open, which this has had, almost sort of transmuted into a slightly sort of bacon smoky bacon smell which is far from unattractive lovely red and black fresh fresh fruit you know delicious delicious concentration there with freshness all the way through it you know some nice nice supportive tannins I mean this this is um and perhaps tannins you wouldn't necessarily get in a warm vintage um, where they would have sort of melted out but you know this has got structural presence it's fresh it makes you know half a glass it makes you want to have a, have another glass I don't know what the alcohol is on that you can probably see it says so gosh even even a vintage like oh it's 14 um, percent uh, which I suppose isn't that high these days you know in the great what they call so-called great vintages you get wines of 16 percent and more um, but I'd urge people to listen to the wine merchants, not the not not the press. You know, I wouldn't offer this wine if I didn't absolutely think it was worth buying. And I'm so glad that actually I've got some left because I'm so enjoying drinking it.